I was there, part of a group of people honoring you and watched you when you got the Mark oh, yeah. Twain Prize. And it was just funny to see how many people came out and how you're that guy to them, you know, if you're, uh, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're, you know, like a Pete Davidson is right, right, telling yeah, stories yeah, about, yeah, oh shit, there's Adam Sandler. That's funny. Yeah, so, we're, we're those guys now that to, to the, the young, the young guys. Yeah. He, he's, he's a funny bastard. That kid, he's always texting. He, he, he's just, uh, he's enjoying his life and then also he nervous. certainly seems to be yeah. he enjoys it but he's <laughs> nervous about it and he's uh, he's but he's a very nice kid and yeah i don't know we that was quite a weekend man you you were the, such a great man to me because i was so uh, not enjoying it the first Why day. Why weren't you enjoying it? So you get this get big tats, honor mark tats, twain tats. prize and everyone turns out and it's going to be at kennedy center and when i just i, I ran into you you know, I checked yeah. in yeah. Uh, at the hotel in, the in Georgetown in the lobby, mm -hmm. and I walked through, and I'm thinking, well, I guess I'll see Adam at some point, maybe when I go up on stage to give my speech. <laughs> yeah, and I see you standing as you always are in basketball shorts and <laughs> in the lobby alone. And I go up and I go, yeah, what's going on? You're like, oh, I don't know, Coney. Yeah, uh, and you were you were in a, a bit of a well, like I you just were the, get nuts with when I have all my family, all, all friends. And, and then all, and the thing was bugging me the most was I knew everybody came because they would do, I felt like everyone was doing me a favor. So I was like, God damn, this is a weekend. Everybody would probably like to have their own weekend. I really wanted my own weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you, but you, you made it, you, you said, we all want to be here. It's good. Let's just enjoy it. And I swear, I swear to God, it was like five o'clock at night on the Friday, mm -hmm. and I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me just. This is a once in a lifetime. Well, thing. also, it's it's yeah. Take a second. You're such a workaholic. Yes. You're working all the time. You are too. Yeah, but it's good to take a moment every now and then and say, okay, yeah, this is nice. All, all your friends turned out. Yeah. Um, and it was really. It was uh, a great time. It was a really we, good time. We all hung. All but I don't know if you're this way. I would always hate it when my if I knew family was in the audience. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. would always say, "Yeah, we're we're coming. We're gonna be in the late night audience." And I'd say, well, "Why don't you just?" I say this to my brother Neil. I'd say, "Let's well, just." Uh, Hang out in the dressing room and you can watch it. No, 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 I want to be in the crowd where everyone else yeah, is. And I'd say, I like, uh, I'd kind of, I kind of prefer it if you were, because uh, I can see everybody. And if I, if I can see you in the crowd, yeah. it's weird that my brother's there and I'm trying to be a talk show host. I and know. you're the guy who beat the shit out of me when I was five <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and took more than your share of the sugar cereal. So uh, I don't, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. there's, there's six Pop Tarts and there's six kids. And so you come down, there's only three Pop Tarts. No one's had any. And Neil's got crumbs on his belly and he's laughing at all of us but i would say to him like i would really prefer and he would look me and go like nah yeah no nope, yeah, that's yeah. what this is what i like they changed my vibe too my 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 dad told my mom my dad came to see me in boston one night when i was doing stand up and i just was getting going mm -hmm. and i was cursing a lot and uh and my father no matter what even when i did bad he would oh that was terrific you were great terrific and uh, I'd say, that thing I said, blah, 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 didn't do well, huh? He'd be like, ah, it was terrific. You'll figure it out. But he would say, don't have mom come see you. <laughs> and, and, then, and so my mother, every time I had a show, my mom would go, your father says I shouldn't come. I, I, do you want me to come? I'd be like, well, dad, dad said not to do it. Maybe it's better. And then my, I did my album, and it was filthy, and my father played my mother the record. She, he listened to it first, and then my mother would tell me, I listened to track one, five, and 11. <laughs> Those were the ones that daddy said I can listen to. <laughs> but I did change my vibe. Whenever my parents or my family, there's something about all, my act as a stand-up, I, I don't really tell the truth ever. Yeah. I have the start of the truth and do some sure. goofy joke, and Anytime I've looked out at a family member and I start my joke, they have a look of like, this isn't true. Yeah. And so it throws my head off. I'm like, oh, God damn it. <laughs> you know, my mother never came to see me do stand up because that was the instructions. But I, uh, my, 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 I opened for Seinfeld. Seinfeld was cool. He, he liked me, let me open for him in Boston one night. And my mm -hmm. parents are in New Hampshire. And, uh, and then when to open for Seinfeld, I don't think he told me to, but I, I said, oh, well, he doesn't curse, so I can't curse. And I told my dad and mom, 
hey, I'm doing Seinfeld. Whoa, that's a big deal. And they were so excited. I said, uh, I'm doing 15 minutes before he, he goes on if you guys want to come. And I, because I'm not allowed to curse. And so my father's like, Judy, we'll go. And I, they both came. And I had, because it was a clean set, I wasn't used to it. And I fucking ate it for 15 minutes oh. and my poor parents were watching me just fail miserably uh -huh. and then Seinfeld went on and it was fucking you know two hours of destruction yeah and <laughs> just the whole car ride home is like and how about when he said <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and I was like yes that was very good and my mother's like you'll get there you'll get, you'll get there that's nice <laughs> I love that your <laughs> your dad is uh, you know the production company logo that always comes mm -hmm, up mm -hmm. is the golf ball the terrific and yeah. then and then terrific exactly. and uh i guess that was your dad's yes, everything yes. was terrific everything was terrific always about your golf swing about everything school you'd give come home with a report card eh, all right terrific you're doing okay you know, that he had a great attitude but my dad passed away and that terrific is actually me. I did it in a microphone and they lowered it and, and put it in the uh, thing. And my mother, for a long time, thought it was my dad. And oh. I, but when daddy said, and then I, I think I broke it to her recently, I said, that's me. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you destroyed it all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I liked hanging out with uh, your mom yeah. and... Your sister and it was just yeah, my was, two sisters. Your two it, sisters. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, How about when my sister took over the the speech the 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 first night? There's a night before at the at the when you get the Twain Award. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a night before they have another night, mm -hmm. and yeah, your sister came out and like did a set. She did a she did a twenty minute hit. hit yeah. Yeah. yeah, and uh, <laughs> she took over. She made me sit down on stage. Yeah, and, she said get up here and made you sit, and there yeah. was nothing you could do. Your sister yeah. was in. This was she Just said a, like this is my moment. <laughs> yes, yeah. and I'm taking it. She and not a didn't try to be funny or, or was funny or and also just nice and real didn't have the thing that we have of like I got to kill and she was just like taking her time and telling stories about me and but had me locked in there pretty good but it yeah. was it was sweet everybody was nice I to love her it when people, I love it when spades like mom has been around yeah I love it when these people that I came along with when their parents are around I love it like I said when your mom's around and I went to uh an event and uh, it was uh, an event that you were throwing for, I think it was a, one of your daughter's bar mitzvah. Oh yeah, the bar mitzvah. Uh, yeah, bar yeah. mitzvah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm sitting at a table with uh, oh, yeah, David Spade's, Spades on mom, one yeah. side, his mom's on the other side, and sitting across the table from us is uh, Dustin Hoffman. Oh, that's right. And she leans over to me and she says, uh, Conan, that's Dustin Hoffman. And um, I wanna go say hi to him. I love Dustin Hoffman. Uh, he's in my uh, second favorite movie of all that's time. Right. Yeah. And I said, um, oh, that's, yeah, you should say hi to him. She says, yeah, I'm gonna go tell him he's in my second favorite movie of all time. <laughs> yeah. And I said, well, you know what you should do, Mrs. Spade, is just say, <laughs> you're like in my favorite movie of all time. Yeah. I said, what was it? And he said, oh, it's, I was like, Tootsie is my second favorite movie of all time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to remember. I said, like, well, what's your, you know, and what's she said, I, I, I just said, just say it's your favorite. And she yeah. said, it's, you know, it's not my favorite movie of all time. You know, <laughs> my favorite movie of all time uh, is, you know, whatever. I've got to think of something now. Uh, <laughs> My favorite movie of all time is Nine to Five. My second favorite movie of all time <laughs> is uh, is Tootsie, and my third favorite movie, you know, of uh, of all time. And then she had, she had a third favorite, and I said, just just don't you don't have to say all that. <laughs> One of my favorites. You don't have to do it. Just go up to Dustin Hoffman and just say you, you're my favorite movie of all time, Tootsie. That's all. And she looked at me and she said but it's not my favorite movie of all time. <laughs> and so I said, David, help me here. And David was like, Ma, Ma, just say, you literally love Tootsie, that's all you have to do. And she was like, all right, all right. So she goes around and there's all this music playing because it's a bat mitzvah. And we, I see her walk around and she goes up to Dustin Hoffman and then she starts talking and then she holds up three fingers. <laughs> And then she does one, and I see her mouthing it, and it's not Tootsie. And I see Dustin Hoffman listening, like, 
and he doesn't even know it's David Spade's mom. He just knows it's this older woman. Yeah. yeah. Now, this is my favorite movie. You're not in it. So hold on. You're in the list, but not at number one. And I was just dying. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, my mother does the, uh, if I if someone famous is in the room, my mother, uh, I'll introduce my mother. Go, you're wonderful. You're wonderful. Congratulations, and uh, and thank you so much. You are wonderful. We love you so much. Uh, and then the walk away. And then like, who is that? <laughs> 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 <laughs>